Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts, ladies and gentlemen. How's your day going? Hey, hey. I hope you're just fantastic today. I have been... It's Thursday when I'm recording this. This is my second time trying to record... Well, this is actually like my third or fourth because... It seems like every time I hit record, Trapper would take off running out of the craft room and start barking. I just throw my pen out of the way and hit pause, stop, whatever, and then uh, go again. Uh, uh. Yeah, that dog. For some reason, tonight, he's been barking like every five minutes. So, there's a warning. My dog is barking. <laughs> So, we are finally getting into this bad boy and getting them swatched. I'm not going to go in any specific kind of order. I'm going to try to keep it greens with greens and blues and blues and pinks and purples and yada, yada, yada. You get the picture. So, how's everybody doing? I really don't have much to talk about because I haven't been going anywhere. I haven't been doing anything because it's kind of been uh, locked down. Um, although I'm not on lockdown here. We have, after 8 p.m., you can't be out and about. Going places. I don't know. The way I look at it, if if I if I want to go out and about, I'm gonna go out and about. I don't, I don't really care if it's a freaking curfew or not. Um. And yes, to answer so many questions I've been getting, I am still working. Yes, I am. Yep. Uh, it's it's been weird. Cause the whole lockdown thing's going on, but work hasn't really been very busy. We've we've been moderate, but at the same time, we have the move going on, which we're getting closer. And closer. I don't know where we're putting all this stuff we're saving. <laughs> Today I went over and got a whole truckload. I'm just like, where are we putting this stuff? Because we still have pretty much a whole house to go in there. Because my boss's house is packed up right now. Because... He's in the process of selling his house. Well, he started selling it a while ago, but then they they decided to do a bunch of fixer-upper stuff. And then sell it. So we got all of that on pallets. And then everything else we're keeping. Uh, we've gotten to like... One, two, three, four, five, five rooms out of there, done. Out of, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. My old press room, sheet press room, is about halfway taken care of. So there's still there's still a lot a lot a lot of stuff in there. We've been in this building for thirty years. I've been there for twenty of the thirty. So yeah, I could tell you firsthand. There's a lot of crap in this building. Stuff that we have no need for. Like they got a good deal on some stuff one day, and they're like, "Yeah, let's get this stuff." a good price we can use one thing out of the 10 but yeah still a good price let's buy it <laughs> and then it ends up and turns out to be 
not used. It just sits there and does nothing. So, yeah, a lot of good that does, right? But a lot of stuff is getting put into a yard sale pile. Yeah, we'll get it done. My boss came back from lunch today. And he was like, hey, we need to make time to get over there this afternoon and get some more stuff done. And I was like, well, let's go. I I hate going over there and working in the afternoon. Drives me up a wall. Like, I want to go over there and spend most of my morning over there loading up as much stuff as I can and coming back. Right now, we're having to borrow a forklift because our forklift is broken. It still runs and drives. It's just... Let's see, how do you put this? It has... It's a heister. It has rear wheel steer. And so the transmission and the... Rear wheel steer are all built in together. So. It's got two big old rams. Hydraulic rams. That hold the steering together. And that's what the steering is. Well one of the, the seals on the ram went out. Now this heister has. A lot of issues. It's been around this print shop as long as I've been there. So it's got a lot, a lot of issues. So we're to the point now where we're going to start looking for a forklift. Because we need a forklift. Because we're going to need pallet jack. Or not pallet jacks. We have a pallet jack. We're going to need pallet racks. So we can stack all this stuff. I'm putting them to the freaking ceiling. There's there's that much stuff. We're trying to keep all of the printing in about 1,200 feet. And then the rest of the shop, the shop is 5,000. So the rest of the shop right now is pretty much, I can't say full, but there is a good, I mean, a, there is a big chunk of it gone already. My boss has an RV. My boss has a a, a 94 uh, what the hell is his boat? Starcraft? Uh, wakeboard boat? Ski boat? Um, two sea dews A stand-up jet ski. Two old antique cars. Plus everything else that's left over from his dad being in the building. We never touched his dad's stuff. I completely agree. I I would never touch Lyle's stuff. But now it comes to the point where we have to. So Lyle was really big into RC stuff. Like he... he that's how I I got a, somewhat of a passion for RC stuff. Lyle was more into the planes. He loved to go out and fly planes. That was his... He loved to build them and go out and fly them. That was his gig. So we're finally getting close to getting into his stuff. And then I was looking at my boss's office. My boss's office. Oh my god. My boss hasn't used his actual real office for probably like 10 years. He has a desk outside of his actual office. Oops, that's a BG7, not GB7. Anyways, enough about work. I just want to give you guys an update because people keep asking me if I'm working. Yes, I'm working. My boss thinks that it, it we're just going to carry on with our day and not worry about what anybody says. 
And I've, I feel I'm I feel the same way, you know. I feel the same way. I don't like being told what to do. Forgive me for bumping my head on the camera. I have my camera lower today, so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Plus, you guys can also see what I'm doing, making sure it's legible and viewable and seeable. You know. Uh. So, anyways, enough with the work. Enough with the bullshit going on in the in the world. Uh. I've been in such a goofball mood lately. I don't know why. Well, I guess I could tell. I guess I could tell. I don't know. Ever, ever since I unboxed the uh, Treasure Studios art canvas, I've been itching. To start that canvas. I don't know why. I have it laying out on the floor. In the spare bedroom next to me. It's calling my name y'all. It's calling my name. I, I just. I, I don't know. I just. Yes, I have my fish that I'm still working on. I have like three sections to go and it'll be done. I've, I've been able to work on it a little bit here and there, you know. Uh, somebody asked me if I was done with my crafty mint. No, I'm not done with my crafty mint. Uh, this is the kindest way to put this. Let's just say drill popolitis. Uh, if you don't know what drill popolitis is, that means pop and drills, baby. It's got the pop and drill syndrome. Yeah. It's got pop and drills. Um, it's got gaps in the freaking squares. But they're still popping. I, how does that happen? Tell me. How does that happen? Um. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm a huge square fan. But I want to work on rounds right now. Tired of squares, but that 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 treasure studios art is calling my name. It's not fair. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, uh, my boss was like, "Oh shit, that's a B, not a G." Look at the symbols or numbers, dork. Uh, he said something the other day, and I was like, huh? He goes, huh? Huh? Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm about 90% deaf out of my right ear. So, if somebody is to my right-hand side and they say something to me, I may not even hear you. It may just go right on by. Uh, yeah. That pissed off a lot of people. A lot of exes got pissed off about my hearing. Because they said, you don't listen to me. You just sit there and ignore me. I'm sorry. You're sitting on my right hand side. I can't hear out of my right hand ear. It's been that way since I started working at the print shop. I've been living on printing for 20 years. And uh, not wearing proper ear equipment. Ooh, 
That's a light teal color. That's pretty. That's pretty. Can't even tell us all the paper. That's pretty, pretty. But yeah, I I can't. I I can only hear about. Uh, I had it tested like um. I don't know, ten years ago, and I was about seventy five percent deaf out of there. So. I can tell you now, if I plug my right ear, I can I can hear mumble, and that's or yeah, my left. Sorry, my left ear. If I plug my left ear, all I can hear out of my right is mumble. So, if you ever see me, don't think I'm an asshole because I don't answer you because I can't hear. Anyways, so. I was talking to my boss, and BG-68, that just sounds dirty, BG-68, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I was talking to him, and he's like, hey, blah, 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 and I was like, uh-huh, sure. And I just start laughing. And he goes, what? And I go, nothing. He goes, well, are you going to do it? And I just start laughing. And he's like, what the hell is your problem? I said, I don't know. I just, I'm just so happy. I don't know. I just, I just, you guys ever go through like, I don't know. My doctor thinks I'm like bipolar or some shit because one day I can be in a perfectly good mood. All chipper and happy. The next minute I'm like. <sighs> biting your face off. Yeah. That's me. The other day I was. A real big asshole to my boss. And then he gave it back to me. And I just started laughing. <laughs> and he goes. What the hell? And I go. I don't know. And it's just like I can't stop laughing. And then that's when I talked to my doctor. And he's like. So uh. How's it going? And I just start laughing. He goes, and what's this about? And I said, I don't know. It's like, it's been like four days now. I can't stop laughing. It's like everything's so funny to me. I don't like, I don't know why. And he goes, okay, okay. We need to get into this brain a little bit more over here. I go, no, no. I, I like my brain the way it is. It just got to have bubbles. And I'm sane. You know, it's got to have them bubbles, and then I, I stay sane. Without them bubbles, I'm all over the place. I, I don't know if I'm coming, if I'm going, if I'm talking to you, if I'm talking to him, I'm talking to that person. But yeah, for sure, I don't know. Those couple of days, that there was just something. He's like, "Oh, you got the corona." <laughs> I got the corona. Yeah, I got the coronas because I went to the store for you and bought a freaking twelve pack of freaking corona. Talk that I got the corona. I don't know, y'all. Just, there's, like, I go through mood swings. I'm a fry rear. What do I, what can I say? I'm freaking Native American Indian. I'm Scottish. I'm German. I, I, I'm more calm, cool, and collective than my both of my brothers and my dad are. Because you can say one word to the three of them. And they're going to jump down your throat and break your goddamn neck. Me? It takes a lot to piss me off. But when you do, you better run. Because I pull out all the stops. I'll send Mary Jane after your ass. I'm Mary Jane. I sissy. You leave her alone. That's my sissy. Y'all. I don't know what the deal is with Mary Jane. She's been sleeping in bed with me like 
every night. She's got this one little spot right beside my head. She comes in there and gets all nice and cozy, snuggled in with her. And then I go to try to stick my hand over there and give her a little rub and say, Hi, I know you're here. And she's like, get out of my face. And I'm like, God, God, you, you're the one that came in my bed, woman. I didn't invite you. Trapper comes up and he like, I, I'm laying like this. Like, this is my bed. I'm laying like this. No, that my bed's like this. I sleep on this side. She comes in and sleeps right here. Trapper jumps up on the bed and he sleeps all the way down over here, but on my feet. So I turn sideways like this. So Trapper's got the whole bottom half of the bed and she's got the whole top half of the bed. He will not. Nuh-uh. He's like, uh-uh. Nuh-uh. Ain't happening. Nope. He jumps up on the bed and he smells her or sees her up there. He's like, he looks at me and kind of starts hitting his paws at me at my feet. And I turn sideways in the bed and he lays down and he's good. Aw, oh, sissy. Sissy girl uh, rules the roost. Yes. You rule the rules, sissy. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Yeah. She needs bubbles, too. Maybe it'll make her sane. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I want to see what this color is. Trying to pick out some of the, what's left of these blues before we move into the purples. I may have to start a new row of markers, but hey, it's all good. It's all good, right? Right. So let's pick this guy. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Let's call this guy. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. So don't have much to talk about. In my squirrely head. Uh, besides work, like I talked about earlier. And I'm not going to sit here and bore you guys with work. Work, 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 work. I bore myself with work. You know. Uh, let's see. Everybody loves pets. So. I need some help. I need some help. I know some of you guys know I have a second channel that is, uh, it's, it's my pet channel. So, I haven't posted over there in a little while, I usually I'll, I'll do a video of Trapper, Mary Jane, Fish. It is called JTMJ and Fish. But I need help. I want to change the name of it. I like it says JTMJ because if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know what JTMJ stands for, it stands for Jeremy, Trapper, and Mary Jane. That's what it stands for. Since my kids always seem to be in my videos, in things, you know, they're always making an appearance in my videos, in my craft room. Um, you guys don't know, I'm eating Coffee Crisp. They're called Coffin Crisp, but over here it says same great flavor as Coffee Crisp. Yep, it's the last of my Canada cop candy. No. It's chocolate. No. Chocolate. 
You cannot have it. I, just because I said no, you can't have candy, doesn't mean you got to lay your head on my lap. That's what he does. If I tell him no and I have food, he lays his head on my lap. He's like, pretty please, daddy. Pretty please, daddy. Love you, boo-boo. But no. No chocolate. No chocolate. And then there's Mary Jane. Mary Jane, Mary Jane. Hi, sissy. Hi, sissy. And then somebody trying to get her, like a little turd bird all the time, trying to get his sister. Okay, let's see if I can get this back in here without any main malfunctions. I gotta plug the phone in because the phone's almost dead. Well, it's not almost dead. It was at about 30%, but I wanted to make sure I had enough juice. Okay. So, I need your guys' help picking out a name for a channel. And... I'm going to start... I'm going to try once a week... To do a video over there. Um, I know that's a big commitment for me, being so busy. But I've been on that channel. I haven't been posting much of anything on that channel. So I really need to get over there and get that done. Um, now I have my Pac Man frog, I could start doing videos on my Pac Man frog, different things like that. Trying to get all these pinks and purples and reds out of here. There's more in here than I thought in these colors. That's quite a few. Well, that one should be a blue. That should be a blue. That should be a blue. I don't know. Now I'm looking at them again, they kind of look blue. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Like that. Okay. And that, and that leaves a bunch of browns and reds. Or browns and tans. Good enough. Oh, I figured from here on talk about animals. Everybody loves animals, right? I feel left out if I don't have an animal. I don't know why. I always feel if I if I don't have an animal, I always feel like there's a void. Like I I am I have a piece of me missing. And I've felt that way for a long time. I think it has a lot to do with when back coming from the time when my mom was still with us and everything. There is a lot of, uh, There's a lot of love there that I miss and I, I, I get that from my dog. 
you know. Trapper brings so many memories of my mom to life after everything has happened with my mom. You know, there's times where I could be down in the dumps having a horrible day and I come home and I see Trapper and it's like everything is just wiped away. No worries. But you guys, my boy will be four years old. I cannot believe it's been four years. Trapper will be four years. March 17th. Is it, wait, 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 wait. Is it March? Sorry. May 17th. I, I, well, I'm just right off my head. Yes. May 17th. 2016. I had to think about that. And then that's that's how I remember his birthday because it, it, was, it was May 17th of 16. I always say it was May 16th of 17, but that's not right. It's May 16th of 17. Oh shoot. I didn't write that number down. R25 P13. Oh, yes, let's play some bingo. My grandma was a bingo holic. Oh, I love playing bingo. I used to go with my grandma. She was a bingo holic. She loved playing bingo so much, she made my papa broke. That could be a country song right there. Yeah, she didn't make my papa broke. My papa had money. She just, she liked to take checks and not say anything about it until they clear the bank and be like, um... My, my papa would be like, Toots, where does $500 go to? It has no name on it. Can't find it in the uh, checkbook. She go, I, I don't know. My papa would say, Virginia, don't you dare lie to me. You know you're down there at that casino. And you took one of my checks, and you wrote it for $500 so you can go blow it. And she goes, yeah, I did. I want to have some fun. <laughs> that was like on a daily basis. She would steal checks, go have some fun at the casino. Ooh, the Indian casino. Love my grandma. Until they killed her. Not seriously, they didn't kill her. But, in the same aspect, they did. Because, they let you smoke in their casino. And, my grandmother was a smoker for pretty much her whole life. Up until about the last 10 years, 15 years of her life, she quit and she had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of issues. I ain't gonna talk about any of it. I seen some horrible shit go down after my grandma died. And I was like, yeah, I'm not smoking. No more smoky smoky for me. Cigarettes. No more smoky smoky cigarettes. Uh, August of this year will be three years since I quit smoking any cigarettes. I so happy. I smell them now because my friends still smoke sometimes. Disgusting. I'm like, um, I can smell it from like a, like, like five miles away. I'm like, oh god, that's disgusting. 
And he goes, dude, I just lit it. And I said, yeah, I know. It's disgusting. Do you realize what that's doing to you? Oh, uh, yeah. Turn into one of those people. Anyways, I got way off topic there. Just kind of squirrel brained all over the place. But, yeah. My grandma, she was a gambler. Ow. My, el my elbow just popped. Oh, God. There was something hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, Anxiety Art Adventures. Sorry, but uh, it was freaking hilarious. I thought of you when it happened. Uh, so, you guys all know, I love Ryan Up Church. He's freaking the bomb. And I was watching one of his videos the other day. And it was it Instagram or YouTube? Um, it could have been YouTube. He's got almost like two, 2 million subscribers on YouTube. And a shit pot on Instagram. Um, his original Instagram had over 2 million. And then it got messed up. Uh, whoa. Excuse me. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I do. Dr. Pepper. Uh, anyways, to the point. I was watching his video. Oh, it was a live feed on... Uh, on Facebook, not Facebook, um, uh, YouTube, jeez, Louise, and some young kids came in, and he's like, hey, what up, baby skins, uh, and then he goes, no, wait, skin babies sound better, what up, skin babies, <laughs> I start dying, so, if you guys don't know, Ryan Up Church, his favorite thing to call people is skin. What up, skins? You know, it's just his his slang. It's his his lingo. It's his whatever you want to call it. That's that's what he calls people. Everybody's his skins. It's what he calls his fans. I'm not going to tell you why it reminded me of my sweet friend, because if you don't know what that was about, you completely missed it. But yeah, totally thought of that moment. I was like, oh god, skin babies. So... On the topic of something else, uh, completely just like, right off the top of the head, don't remember what I was talking about. Anyways, um, I got crickets today. Uh, when they say quarter inch crickets, they mean quarter inch size crickets. These things are tiny. Oh my good god. It's gonna take a while for them things to get big enough for my Pac-Man frog can eat them. Because they're so tiny. I was just like, what the heck? I'm gonna move the camera for a second. Sorry. Yeah, they're, like, tiny. Um, I ordered 250. There looks like there's a lot more than 250, but there was a lot dead, too. So they probably stocked them up heavy because they knew. They weren't going to make it. But they're kind of, they're, they're t teeny tiny, I was so surprised. So I instantly threw them into an empty fish tank 
and put some paper from work, newspaper in there, and fed them green beans and potatoes. That's what they're going to be eating for a little while. They, as soon as uh, cricket sh ship, uh, you need to give them food. I should have took a picture of it so you guys can see it, but I put two green beans in, like right here, this blue spot, two green beans, and all of the crickets are on those green beans. Like that's how eating is. That's how that's how they get their water. So. Then we're thirsty. So I'm trying to fatten them up. Get them so we're for Phoenix can eat some nice healthy crickets. They're so small right now it's hard to try to feed him. I gotta get a pair of tongs. And I unfortunately I should have bought tongs the day that I bought Phoenix because it would make life so much easier right now. I tried using a pair of tongs out of my kitchen to feed him. That didn't work. I was breaking cricket legs in half and crickets in half and I was like, okay, I gotta go I gotta go buy tongs. So let's see, what else was I gonna talk about? Um I heard there was a mini diamond painting marathon going on this weekend. Um on Saturday, so I uh, probably am not going live Saturday. Anytime the DP marathon comes around, I don't go live because, eh, eh, yeah, whatever. I don't care no more. Everybody's trying to piggyback off of everybody else, so it don't matter anymore. But, the reason why I was saying is, I'm probably going to go live from my Patreons and do like an hour live stream or something. So, my Patreons, let me know what time... Would be good for you guys if you guys want to just show up because I know there's a lot of people that's going live and everybody wants to support everybody. I get it. I try to be in so many different lives. Um, I, I'm going to try my best to be in some of those lives myself. Hanging out with some peeps. I know Sister Addiction's in it. I will definitely be there. Oops, I missed one little spot. One little spot. R8. And other than that, I just... Gonna work around the house again. You know me, always working, 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 working. Working, working, working. Oh, those are green. That's green, that's green, that's green. Ah, yeah, screw it. I'm adding them into the yellows. Screw it. Add to the yellows. See, that's green too. God, why did my eyes play tricks on me? Those don't look green earlier. No, they don't look green earlier. Dang, that looks green. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm such a goofball. I don't know 
what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with myself. I worth what song is that? I don't know where I got that from. I've been singing it all day. Oh, really? Is that the Wonder Years song? Good God, I think that's the Wonder Years theme song. I don't know. I've been singing it all day. Okay. God, this tastes so good. Tastes like a little, little bit of coffee, some chocolate. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not big on the taste of coffee, but. I do have coffee from time to time. Definitely have to have creamer and sugar. Without coffee. Creamer and sugar without coffee. Ugh. I know some people... Even Straight black, and I'm like, no thanks. Can't do straight black. Don't like the taste of coffee. Whoa. That's a different color. Looks like a different color. That's what it is there. And when it comes out, it's there. Huh. Down now. You in your bed, sissy. I'm gonna have to get another swatch sheet here in a second. So, let's see, um, I'm still looking for a swatch book. I need a swatch book so I can swatch all my markers in one book. I mean, I guess I could swatch everything in my... A hoo hoo book. I don't know. I'm just weird. I like lines. I like. I think. I, I don't know. I like everything like. I have this sheet on there from last time. How far I got last time. <clears throat> and, uh. No bleed through. Very minimal on this. This paper is nice. It's nice. Save that one. Grab another one of these. Um, if you guys don't know, this is the Ohuhu book that I got from Ohuhu. And I took 
and it does have perfed pages, so I took a couple out of it and took them to work. And printed this on there, so I had, I had it, so I can swatch. Let's see. Another thing I wanted to ask you guys. Like I was talking about that Treasure Studios art canvas. Should that be my next canvas I start? It's just calling me. Now there are are a couple other Treasure Studios arts that I do have coming and I still have a couple here that I need to do but for some reason that one is just calling my name plus I figured I was one of the first ones to get one of the John um, Poppleton, I think that's how you say his last name, Poppleton, one of the first of his on a diamond painting that I would start it, because I've had a lot of people ask me when I was going to start it, because they want to see it worked up before they buy one, and I was like, hey, it's called my name. I might just start it and say, Shh, forget it. I also had somebody ask me about the wolves. Did I talk about that earlier? For some reason, I felt like I talked about that already. Crafty Mint Wolves? Yeah. Popolitis. Drill Popolitis. Yes, I did talk about that earlier. Duh. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Favorite skin tones. And there's Trapper. Trap! Here. 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 Do you not know what here means? I know you can hear. So, that's something I could talk about. Trapper Man. So, when Trapper was like... Oh, good lord, I can't even think. Trap! Shut the mouth! You're gonna irritate me? You're gonna irritate me? When Trapper was like eight weeks old, I started teaching him his hand commands. Oops. Welcome you guys at the chair over here. So, hand command number one. If I give him one finger, sit down. That can be this finger. It could be this finger. It could be a thumb. It doesn't matter if he sees one. It's usually this finger, but if I get pissed off at him, I'll give him that finger. Yeah. Ink got in a cut, and it's never gone away. That's from work. Anyways, so one finger is to sit. And it doesn't matter if it's this finger, if it's this finger, this finger, 
can't hold that finger down. Yeah, anyways. And then, two down. Two down. Sit. Full hand, stay. Those were his three commands. Seven weeks old, that dog knew his commands. I was so shocked. My brother came over. He was, Trapper was at my house for literally one week. My brother comes over and I said, dude, tell him to sit. And he goes, sit, sit. And I go, no, bro. One finger. And he goes, what? No way. And Justin goes like this, and Trapper sits down. Uh-huh. That's when I knew I had an intelligent dog on my hands. Stubborn is all get out. He's hard-headed. He, gets a, he has that one-track mind. That he's going to do what he wants to do. And nobody can tell him he can't. That's Trapper. He's... Been one of the smartest dogs I have had personally. In a long time. Um, my little dachshund I had was a very smart dog as well. He didn't know his hand commands, but he was very, very smart dog. Trapper, when he was nine weeks old, he knew two down and pointing down to the ground, knew sit and full hand at nine weeks old, and he would sit there, and I could walk. 30 or 40 steps and stop and say, here, here, here. He didn't know what here was then. And then I was like, come on, come on. And he'd come running over to me. And then that's when I'd say, when he'd get to me, I'd say, here. And that's how I trained Trapper. Like tonight. The neighbor was up getting his trash cans. Trash comes Monday morning. You're you're slacking on your job over there. <coughs> Trap! God, I swear. He does not shut up. Literally, all freaking night, that dog will sit out there and bark out that window. Anyways, Trapper was out in the yard. The neighbor was getting his trash can. Trapper sat over there and barked at him. And barked at him. And barked at him. And barked at him. And and I was in the house taking care of a couple of things while he was outside. I heard him bark. I walked outside and I yelled, here. And he, about 30 seconds later, he peeked around the side of the house like, what? Did you call me? I was barking at the neighbor. Did you, did you seriously call me and interrupt me barking at the neighbor? I'm like, you little, you just get over here and shut your mouth. I love my dog to death. But that mouth and that nose on him, 
gets him in trouble. Let me tell you, it gets him in trouble. <sighs> like, nobody's business. That dog is in trouble. I've been trying really hard and being really patient with him. Taking him outside of his yard on the property and letting him go out and investigate outside of his yard. And I've, I've put a lot of trust in him. Not to go up that road. Not to go up the driveway to the road. Not to go past the gate. Because every time he will we'll be out and about, that nose will start to work. And next thing you know, that nose is in the air, and Trapper's gone. Beelining straight up the driveway, dead run for whatever God only knows. You know, just like, I'm out of here, I smell something. I yell here a couple of times. I whistle at him here. He stopped once, turned around, looked at me. I said, let's go here. Because sometimes I say let go sometimes or let's go. And that, that is different from here. So it's like, oh. What does he got? Does he got something for me? And he kind of gets excited and he comes running back. That didn't even work. He just like looked at me like, yeah, watch me walk up the driveway. Now, dang it, that's a nine. You guys don't know. I live on a private road. But the end of my private road is a water district. So, the traffic for the water district throughout the day is relatively busy. And this was on like when they work, it was a Saturday and they work Saturdays. So I was dead freaking set panic like my dog's gonna get hit by a freaking car, you know? So I take off running. I think my brother was here that day. He starts yelling for Trapper. Usually Trapper will come right back when Justin yells for him. Not this time. He just kept on going. Finally, I run up, I get in my car. He's down by the water district on a freaking mission. Going wherever. I don't have a clue where the heck this dog's going. All I know is his nose has pulled him somewhere. And he was... All I know, it could have been, been a cat. Could have been... It could have been a female dog and heat that he smelled. I have no clue. He was gone. And I was just like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. All of a sudden, he stops. And sticks his nose straight up in the air. And that's his key. When his nose goes in the air, he, you know he's smelling something. Or he's trying to find the smell that he already had. Like he lost his scent. Like, he lost his track. And he starts, like, walking in circles and smelling. 
and I pull up, I open the car door, I say, let's go, and he jumped right in. And I about beat the crap out of him. Don't you ever freaking leave me again, dog. Do not leave this property. So we went back to the house. I got out of the gate. I yelled at him. You get home. Go home. You never come up here. And to this day, I've, I've been pretty lucky. He hasn't gone up there. He goes about halfway up the driveway, and I say, uh uh, ain't happening today, buddy. And he walks back. So, luckily, 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 he is staying on my good Drace's side because that dog has a nose on him like I have never seen before. I've spent a lot of time with good hunting dogs. And this dog, his nose puts good hunting dogs' noses to shame. I, I don't know what it is with him. Uh, the other day... Uh, I think it was in my Instagram, no, it was in my Patreon video, um, I think it was, or just, I may have deleted that part out of there, I don't remember, I, I jacked that video up, because I recorded, and I, I didn't realize it was upside down, and so I butchered it to make it look right, and yeah, it was another hack. Famous Jeremy Hack job. Anyways. In that video. He does this thing where he'll walk out. And his nose goes straight into the air. And that day he just happened to, to go blazing out the door. Like he already knew something was going down. Outside. He had to get out that door as fast as he can. His goal is, is to bum rush that door. As soon as I crack it open, he's smacking his head into that door like, just, just let me out of this house. You're a freaking spaz, dog. He don't even care. Oops, CG5. Not GC5. I read these things sometimes backwards. I look, I'm dyslexic. Yeah, I don't know what his deal is. Like, he walk out that door and he's like, he tries to break out that door as fast as he can. But, if you watch him, like, he'll run out the door and he'll stop and he'll put his nose up in the air. And then, like, you can real faintly hear Canadian honkers doing their too, too, too. Real faintly. And I'm like, okay, there's honkers somewhere. Don't have a clue where they are. But. Look at Trapper. Whatever f direction, north, east, south, west. That he's, his face is pointing. Nine times out of ten. He's got them pinpointed. And he's sitting in the direction that they're coming from. He is that good. He will sit there and jump into the air and try, and like, he acts like he's going to bite them out of the air. The other day, he come barreling off from the side of the house, jumped in the air, and I'm saying he jumped in the air, he got like, maybe like, Five, six inches off of the ground. And 
and starts biting in the air at them. Like he's going to grab them. Let me tell you, a white boy cannot jump. Trapper, he, he, I call him a white boy. He can't jump. No, literally can't jump. When he's trying to do something like that. But, you open up my brother's big truck. My, my brother has a... A big truck. It, it's seriously, like, a big truck. Like, I need a, I need a step ladder to get in the truck. And I, I want, and, and when I say step ladder, I mean, like, I need, like, a, a step ladder that has, like, four, four steps on it to get into this truck. Seriously. It's, it's crazy. It's got, like, a 10-inch lift on it. And it's got a big old motor on it. And it's got 38 inch rims and tires on it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh. I'm a nut. I, I can't help it. I, I'm a nut when it comes to vehicles. But yeah. That truck is huge. Usually my brother's like 6'7". So, usually, if we go and we take his truck somewhere, and I've I've we've worked all day long, and we go to get into his truck to leave, he'll actually come around and pick me up and put me into the seat, <laughs> cause I can't reach. When I get into that truck, I have to put my foot on the tire. I have to put my knee on, like, the, the floorboard area and then grab the oh shit handle and literally pull myself into the truck. It's that tall. I mean, it's not saying a lot because I'm, I'm five foot five, so, yeah. I'm, I'm just a little guy. Just a little guy. My little brother got all the... What's left over from me. That's what I always tell people. Because my... Older brothers like six two, and I'm five five, and then my little brothers six seven. But I also was born with a growth hormone deficiency. My body doesn't produce growth hormone to make me grow. And it's also why I have to take a bunch of other, I have to take thyroid and, uh, I'm very low on iron, so I have to take freaking iron pills. Oh my god, I hate taking iron pills. I told the doctor, I said, I hate them. Is there anything else I could take? He goes, nope, you need iron. You gotta take iron pills. I said, but they, they make my tummy hurt. They make my tummy hurt. He goes, oh God, you are a fryer. And I go, why? Typical guy. And I go, what? You're a guy? He goes, yeah, but I'll tell you, you're a whiner. And I said, oh, okay, dog. Oh, so you're telling me that... You're not a whiner? And he goes, no, of course not. I go, okay, where's the wife? Is she here today? Yeah, she's in the next room. I go and walk over and knock on the door. And I said, hey, Sheila. 
Is Dr. Fesha a whiner when he's sick? And she goes, oh god, yes. So, ha 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 Got you in trouble. <laughs> yeah, me and my doctor have a really good relationship. He's been my doctor since I've been, like, knee-high to a grasshopper. Pretty much. He's been my doctor since I was, like, Seven or eight months old. So yeah, he's he's been my doctor forever. Hey hey hey, we're down to the last two markers. Number one twenty, which is a black. Good God, it's black. It's almost like it should be called three ten. Cause it's black. And then the last one is zero, because it has no color, because it's a, a blender. I don't even think it would show up on paper if I put it on paper. Eh, kind of like a grayish color on there. I did it, you guys. I did it. Ugh. I did it. We did it. We got her done. That that right there is a a boatload of markers. Holy cow. But it's done. Now, tomorrow. I'm gonna be coloring. You know it. Mrs. Coffee's gonna be live. My sister from another mister. And I'm going to be color because Friday nights are my color night. Got to get my color in on. Yeah, there is some awesome, awesome colors, you guys. Look at the, oh ho ho, 120, oh ho ho. Awesome colors. Fantastic colors. Okay, that's it, everybody. I hope you all enjoy a little bit of squirrely talk. All over the place. Randomness. Yep. Uh, let's see. Mm. I'll put up a poll somewhere. About going live. For my Patreons. Um, actually, I, I might just make it a private live. And send some people the link. Send them the Patreon's links and then send some other people links that may want to come. Screw everybody else. So that's it for me. Don't forget to have some love, your peace, and treat each other with respect that we're all deserved to be treated with. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.